And now you've got your pot assembly. Neck will put over here and uh, probably use that to start the bonfire later. Um, anyway, moving on swiftly. So here we go. Just a little tweak on each nut all the way around. Should just start to back the head off. When you're putting the head on, it's, it's wise to go across ways as we're tightening. Again, I'll show you all that later. But when you're taking the head off, there's no real um, problem with just going around the circumference like this one at a time, taking the, taking the tension out of each one as you go.
scrape that clean and uh, then we'll check for how tight the ring is. It might be that we need to skim a little bit off of it. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty tight actually. So we might have to do a little bit of work there on the shelf of the rim. It's a little bit too tight for my liking. Alright, we'll get some tools and we'll be right back. Okay, so uh, using a chisel and uh, some sandpaper and a little bit of patience, um, we, we've dressed the top of the rim, uh, taking care not to take too much off the top, or if, if anything, it's just a, a matter of dressing out where the, the lacquer had uh, drifted over. Uh, you still see the stain in there, obviously that's in the grain. Uh, but reason being, you don't want to take anything off of the top as such, because that will change the height from the top here to your shelf here, and therefore you're going to um, get a, a poor fitting tone ring, it'll touch here, it'll touch on the side, but it'll, there'll be a gap where the tone ring joins here. So, uh, anyway, so we dressed that down, and now we've got a, a much better fit just to line up the holes here. And then we get it sitting on the back edge as well, and then just squeeze it down. up on that. Good joint all the way around here. And if we can see the inside we've still got a, a really nice joint all the way around here. But it's a better joint on the circumference now. Uh, it's not quite so tight. So there we go. 